anyone can make this photo manipulation in Procreate. I'm going to take you through all the steps, so you can draw this too, even if you're a beginner in digital art. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Before you start, make sure to download all the pictures that we'll need for this project, they are linked in the description of this video. And if you'll enjoy this video and would like to draw more of me, join my Patreon and you will get access to my special Procreate tutorials and brushes. Link is in the description. And with all that being said, let's start. Let's make a new canvas. A for canvas from Procreate. Rotate it this way. And first we have to import here our pictures. So let's go to the actions menu, go to add and pick insert the photo and then one by one import all the photos that I have linked in the description of this video. For now we can hide the pictures with the fish and with the water. Let's go to the layer with the light bulb. We want to have one more layer of the light bulb, but only with the light bulb, without the background. So there are a few ways you can do it. I will show you all of them. So what you can do, you can duplicate this layer, so swipe it to the left and pick duplicate. And you can take the eraser, you can set it to maybe airbrushing and soft brush, and just erase everything outside of this light bulb. The other way you can do is to take the selection tool and pick here freehand, make sure the color fill is not turned on, and just select this light bulb very carefully. I'm not going to do this now, very carefully. Close the selection, tap here on invert, and then go to the actions menu and pick cut. And the background will be cut away. I'm going to show you how you can do it easier and faster now with the newest iOS on your iPad. So I'm going to delete this layer. And I'm going to open the picture of the light bulb in the photo apps on my iPad. So I have it here. And now you can just tap on this light bulb like that, hold it, move it to the side. And then you have the options copy and share. Let's pick copy. Now go back to the Procreate and go to the actions menu and pick paste. Allow paste. And you'll have this light bulb here. We want to have it exactly in the same spot as the other one. So I'm going to turn on the opacity of this layer for now. And now I can take the arrow tool. And I will try to place it in the same position. I think this is okay like that. So we can tap here to finish. Now that those light bulbs are in the same position, we can scale the picture. Make it fit the canvas. Let's select those two layers, so swipe on this to the right. And now take the arrow tool. And with the uniform option selected at the bottom, we can make it fit the canvas like that. Tap here to finish. Now I don't want to see this middle part of the light bulb. We are going to get rid of this. First let's turn off that layer here, so we can see better, and we'll focus on this layer first. For this we can take the smudge tool. Let's tap on it again. And we can set it to airbrushing and soft blend. Let's make the size 5%. And very lightly we can smudge it together like that. Go left and right, up and down, until all of this will disappear. I see my light bulb is not cut here very nicely. So I'm just going to take here the eraser, I'll make it smaller. And I will erase this, so it has a nice edge. You probably have the same situation, so please check it. Now we can do the same to the other light bulb. So we can now turn off this layer, bring back the other one, tap on it, take the smudge tool, and again we are going to smudge this, so it will disappear. Now 
Ok, this is good. Now let's open the layers and we can place the water in the light bulb. For this, first we have to bring back this layer. Let's tap on it. And we'll put it on top of everything. Now we can turn on the layer with the water. Let's tap on it and let's make it fit the light bulb. So let's take the arrow tool and just stretch it like this. If you want, you can also rotate it. Let's tap here to finish. And now we want to have this only inside of this light bulb. So to do that, we are going to open the layers. We'll tap on the layer of the light bulb and we're going to select it. So let's tap on it again and pick select. Now the light bulb is selected. We want to select the outside of the light bulb. So let's tap here on invert and make sure your color field is not turned on. And now we can open the layers again. Go to the layer of the water, tap on it and pick clear. Now this water is only in the light bulb, but we have to still fix this. We can just erase this. Let's take the eraser and just erase it. I'll make it bigger, 9%. And now this is erased. We have to also erase here the sky in this picture. So we can just erase it now with the eraser, like that. And now let's make the eraser smaller, 3%, to erase this here more precisely. But we want to see this better, we can just turn on the layer of the light bulb for a second. Okay. And now let's just erase this. I'll make the brush size even smaller, 2%. So I can erase this very precisely here like that. Now this water is finished, we can put here our fish. So let's open the layers. Let's open the layer of the fish. Let's turn on the opacity of this so we can see where we are going to place it. And let's take the arrow tool to move this so it will fit our water. You can rotate it again. I will put it somewhere here like this. I'll tap here to finish. And now we want this to be visible only in the water. So we are going to do the same trick. First we can turn up the opacity of this to the maximum. And now let's go to the layer of the water. Tap on it and pick select. Tap here invert. Go now to the layer of the fish. Tap on it and pick clear. Now we are going to use the eraser here to fade it away so it will blend nicely with the water. Let's keep it as a soft brush. And let's make the size 6% and just erase it very lightly like that. So it will blend nicely and it will actually look like all these things are back there deep in the sea. Do it very very lightly, don't use too much pressure here. Okay, this is good now. Now we can bring back our light bulb here on top. We are going to need this layer again in a moment. So I'm going to duplicate it. And for now I will turn it off. Let's go back to this layer here. And we want to see through this. So we can of course turn down the opacity. But we still want to have this effect like this is behind the glass. So we want to keep this kind of visible. Maybe I'll make this here 
We can now erase this very gently in few places. So this water will be peeking through here. Like that. But it will be still behind that glass. After this we can still change the opacity. So kind of randomly erase here some spots. I'm going to bring back the opacity now a little bit. Maybe I will do it 38. And now again I can erase this. Just to make sure I like what I see here. I think this looks nice now. I want to darken here this picture with the fish at the bottom. So it would look like there's some shadow here. So for this I'll go to this layer here. I'll make a new layer above it and set it to clipping mask. So this way whatever I'm going to draw here will be visible only on the area of the shape that is underneath this layer. I'll change the blending mode here to overlay. And I'm going to take your black color like this. I'll take the brush. I'll go to airbrushing and take the soft brush. And I'll make the brush size 5%. And just very lightly darken this here like that. Now let's work on the light bulb and the reflections on top of it. So for this we have to open the layers and bring back this layer here. Let's turn it on. Let's turn up the opacity to 100%. Now we have to see here what we want to keep on our light bulb. Let's take the selection tool. And I'm going to select here this edge of the light bulb. Like that. I'm using here the freehand option. I'll tap this. And I also want to have those reflections. So I'll select them one by one like that. Those top reflections are visible very well, so I don't have to select them. So now I'm going to copy and paste this. I'll take this option here, copy and paste. And now this is on a new layer. I can hide this layer for now. And this is how it looks. It doesn't look so nice now, but we are going to fix it. We can take the eraser. And we are going to erase around those shapes. Let's make the bar size small. 2%. And just erase it like that, so it will start looking like a refraction. We are still going to blend this in a moment with a smudge tool, so it doesn't have to be very precise now. Okay, and now I'll take the smudge tool. And with a small size, 2%. I'm just going to smudge it away so it looks like a nice reflection here. Now I'll make it bigger, 3% and smudge this edge here. Now 
And now because I smudged this here, I probably came out of the shape of the light bulb. I'm going to fix it quickly by selecting this layer here. I will bring it back for a second. I'll tap on it and pick select. Tap on invert. Open the layers, go here, tap on it and pick clear. Now I can turn this off again. We can now turn down the opacity of those reflections just a little bit. Let's make it 88%. Let's see how this looks. Let's let's match it a little bit here. Now we can take maybe this color from here, like that, manually. So hold your finger here for a second. And let's take the brush. And we can just add it here very lightly like that. And now in the end we can still look at it and see if we want to adjust the opacity of this light bulb. I'm going to still turn it up a little bit. I'll make it 50%. To make this more interesting, we can still add here a reflection of this light bulb. To do that, we are going to group all of those layers here, without the one in the background. And now tap on group. We are going to duplicate this group, so let's swipe this group to the left here, and pick duplicate. In our reflection, we want to make sure that we'll have this part visible nicely. Because now, without the background, it's like that. So I have to bring this piece from this layer. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. I will make this one visible. And I want to keep only this part of the light bulb here. So I can take the selection tool. And I will just select everything outside of this. Like that. And I'll go to the actions menu and pick here cut. Now that we have it like that, we can tap on this group and we can flatten it. Now this is just one layer. We are going to flip it around so it's upside down. Let's take the arrow tool. And here at the bottom, let's pick flip vertical. Make sure your snapping is turned on. So now you can move it down like that. And you want to stop when those two parts, two ends of this light bulb will meet each other. Like this. Let's tap here to finish. And now we have to erase here this part that is coming on top of the light bulb. So let's take the eraser and we can just erase it manually. Like that. Now we can make this layer less visible, let's turn on the opacity of this. Let's make it 30%. And now let's take the eraser again. Let's make it large, 13%. And we are going to erase it here like that, so it will be fading away. So very lightly, keep raising, going up. So you will create this effect that this reflection is fading away. Like this. And now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can share drawing with me on my Instagram, I would love to see it. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to draw more with me, make sure to check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!